Hello folks, welcome back. We are from Breaking Code. Uh, today we are here to explain another problem called as Chef and Dolls. Chef and Dolls uh, sounds pretty weird. Chef is a guy who has a weird habit of collecting dolls. He has a huge collection of dolls and uh, each and every doll has a number on it. Like consider this is a doll, it has number 2 on it. Consider this is a doll, it has number 1 on it. 3, 2, 1, 3. And the best part is each and every doll has its pair. Like doll number 2 has its pair here. Doll number 1 has its pair here. Doll number 3 has its pair here. So it's pretty obvious that uh, each and every doll has its pair. So the total number of dolls will be even. So once chef was just putting all the dolls back in the cupboard. And he just found out that total number of dolls is odd. So one of the dolls is missing. So... Now he just have to find a logic and algorithm to just figure out which doll is missing. So we just have to do that. Like uh, take an example. Okay, so uh, this was our previous example. Now uh, just modify it a little bit. Now this is our ex a new example. So doll number 2 has its pair, 1 has its pair, 3 has its pair and 4 doesn't have its pair. Uh, pair. So our answer should be 4. Uh, so now uh, you guys might be thinking that this is pretty simple and uh, it has an obvious logic that uh, we just have to store these elements in an array and then traverse the array like uh, if our first element is 2 then traverse the whole array and find 2. If we find 2 then continue. Next element is 1 traverse the whole array again if we find one then continue the next element is three traverse the whole array again and then we find three and then continue the next element is four we cannot find four in the array so just print four and this is our answer but uh, the problem in this code is uh, we have to traverse the array for each and every element so the time complexity of the problem and our code increases so we in this case we will use a new uh, technique called as hashing so the main aim of uh, explaining this problem was to introduce you to a technique called as hashing now let me tell you what hashing we usually use it to reduce the time complexity of the problem now take our example so this is our example so in hashing we will form an array Like this array will uh, include like uh, going from 1, 2, 3, 4. We just don't need the spaces right now. So this is our array. Initialize each and every element with 0. Now as we take the input uh, from the user like if uh, we get the first number as 2. So increment uh, the second uh, column of the array like 0 becomes 1. Like we, it indicates that we found one doll of uh, uh, number 2. Next uh, input is number 1. So we'll increment it to 1. Next input is number 3. Next input is number 2. Then again increment this. Now 1 becomes 2. Next input is uh, number 4. So 0 becomes 1. Next input is number 1. So 1 becomes 2. Next input is number 3. So 3 becomes 2. So while taking the input we have modified the array. And now uh, what we have to do is just traverse the array once and find the odd number in that array. Like uh, now in uh, fourth uh, column of the array contains an odd number that is 1. So this indicates that uh, there are odd uh, number of dolls uh, of number 4. So the, our answer just we need to print out the n that is 4. And so this is uh, what uh, that we get as an answer. This technique is called as hashing. While uh, you might be noticing that uh, in this technique we traverse the array only once. So the time complexity of our code reduces to a great extent. In the earlier code we traverse the array many a times for each and every element. So uh, this technique is a lot more efficient than our previous technique. Uh, so now let's take another example. So this is our example like uh, chef has this many dolls uh, of number which is represented. Uh, so now uh, we take uh -huh. an array. This represents doll number 1, 2, 3, 4, 
pi so now as we take the input from the user the first uh, number is 3 initialize each and every element with 0 the first element is 3 so increment uh, the third column of array as 1 next input is 2 so it becomes 1 next input is 4 4 becomes 1 5 it becomes 1 again the input is 5 so uh, increment it again so 1 becomes 2 next input is 3 so this again becomes 2 next input is 4 becomes 2 next input is 1 so it's still 0 so it becomes 1 again the input is 2 so this becomes 2 so all we have to do now is just traverse the array once like uh, if we find an odd number just print it so in this case uh, the answer would be 1 uh, so doll number 1 is missing it indicates uh, so this is the solution for this uh, problem uh, the main uh, aim behind this problem is to teach you the technique called as hashing we are going to use this technique in lots of problems ahead so this was uh, today's problem uh, named chef and dolls uh, we will be making more videos on more problems from code chef for uh, if you guys need any specific problem, you just can comment the problem name in the comment section or put the link of the problem. We'll solve it for you. Uh, just stick with it and uh, you will be a coder in no time. Please, please, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be making more and more videos for it. Uh, thank you. Peace. Goodbye.